in the last chapter of the Book of Unwritten Tales. That would have hurt the being made of flesh and blood. And so it continues. All right, let's go into the mage school then. A weather vane in a mage school. I wonder if my parents will be able to accept the fact that I'm different. Hopefully. But you gotta be who you are, Wilbur. Ooh. No matter whether they accept wow. you or not. It is pretty cool. Wonder why we're suddenly in this top down view. Can I help you? Oh, there we go. That's better. Ah, oh, that's a lovely pair of glasses you have there. Always start with flattery, friends. Whoa. Nice glasses you wear it. Hmm? Oh, these. These are magic glasses. We mages can read invisible secret texts with them. Wow. Something like that really exists. Of course. Many mages are very distrustful and guard their knowledge like a treasure. And what are you reading there? Paranoia Weekly. Weekly. Paper, classified section. Wow. By the way, I need to see the Archmage. I need to see the Archmage, Master Marcus. It's urgent. Why are you bothering me with that? The Archmage and I, we aren't necessarily the best of friends. I can't get into the upper part of the town without a mage diploma. I understand, and what should I do about it? Write thought, me out well, one. Maybe you could lend me a diploma. I urgently need to give something to the Archmage. Something important for the good of the world. Everything the good does is, after all, important, right? But I can't help you. I can't just award degrees to any old Tom, Dick, or Harry. The Mage Guild already has me under close scrutiny. We didn't say award, we said let us borrow. Um, what have you got against the Archmage, anyway? Why don't you like the Archmage? Did he do something to you? No, no, it's... No, no, it's... It's just that we've known each other for aeons. You could say all our lives, really. And he... he gets on my nerves. Are you brothers? Why? His raised index finger. What? His idealism, his... He always just sees the good in everything. Oh. Uh, What's wrong with believing in good? Nothing. I used to as well. But when you look at what's happened to this town, what's happening to so many other towns, then you really have to be an idiot not to doubt everything. I see no reason to. Then you're just a happy gnome. Right. Well, I mean, it's always good to have a good dose of realism to season things appropriately. Is there really no other way? I must give the Archmage something important. I'm not going to take it to him. And Bill the Merchant is not permitted in the upper town. There's the town guard. He could take it up there for you. But I, he won't. I, I can't. I swore to give it to the Archmage personally. Can we just show then, him the ring? Then, my friend, you're going to have to become a mage graduate. <laughs> Let's get started, then. So, how do we do that? Can I do that? Become a certified mage, I mean. Of course. Anyone can be whatever they want if only they desire it enough. That's not yes, true. That's Sorry. True. No, it's not. But I can try, can't I? Yes. Most people have so little magic in them that they can't even cast one itty-bitty spell in their whole life. I want to try. Don't be silly. What else should I do? I'm certainly not going to just sit around here and do nothing. So, can I become a student? <sighs> All right then, Mr. Gnome. Yay! Wilbur Weathervane. Then, Wilbur Weathervane, if you want to be admitted to this mage school of excellence, you will need three things. You need a mage's robe. Not just mm -hmm. any old rags, of course. Something substantial made of magical fabric. Okay. Then you need a wand. That's your most important tool as a mage. Well, besides your mind. And thirdly, a pile of gold. What? Gold? A whole pile of it. If I'm going to be wasting my time, I at least want to get paid for it. Fine. And how fast can I complete my diploma? Not that fast enough. That depends entirely on you. 
As a pupil of this establishment, you can take your exam at any time. Some manage very quickly. Most never pass at all. That's all very discouraging, Marcus. Could you lend me a robe? You wouldn't perhaps have an old robe I could wear? Certainly not. Not in your size anyway, little man. Anyway, it's gnome. tradition for the prospective mage to tailor their first robe themselves. Can you sew? Well, I was always good at handicrafts. That's good. You can't imagine how ridiculous lots of these mages look with their self-tailored robes. Or without them, when a gust of wind blows. <laughs> Mage robes have to be made out of a special magical fabric. It Which protects is you from many simple spells and curses. But for that, it has to be sewn using a magical needle as well. Hmm, so I need a magically treated cloth and a needle and thread. That much is clear. And I need a pattern. I mean, it's not like I know a lot about magic robes. I mean, literally zero is what you know, right? Um, what about a magical wand? Can it be holly with phoenix feather core? Can I buy a magic wand here in the school? Or is there somewhere else I can find one? You can't just buy any old wand. The wand has to fit the mage, you understand? The right. wand picks the mage, not the other way around. Ask Bill the Merchant if he's got a couple of wands. Lots of good mages have died recently. Perhaps you'll get lucky. Hmm. And the gold. Any pointers on that? I'm a poor gnome. Where am I supposed to get a pile of gold? If I knew where there were piles of gold just lying around, then I would have helped myself by now, don't you think? Can't I just work off my debt once you've accepted me as a student? Ah, a gnome can't earn that much with honest work. You don't really? expect me to steal, do you? There are many gradations between honest work and stealing. Take Whooperman, the showman. He's Oof. very rich, and that without ever having worked, and without ever stealing. How does that work? He knows people's folly and makes use of it. Ask him. How can I find him? His wagon is out there on the meadow. Here, take this. So is he a performer or is he a, a con postcard. man? It shows you the most important points around here. Oh, you can a use map. It to quickly get between one place and another. Helps to have a map. Thank you. I'll go and get what I need then. If you say so. Can I finally interact with this dwelling? Hang on. Oh, I'd give a lot to be able to read these books, but I'm sure only students are allowed to do that. I also disagree a little bit with what Master Marcus said about. The, if he's doing showmanship, performing, that it's not work. I, I disagree with that. Just because you enjoy what you do and someone else doesn't enjoy what they do does not make what you do any less work. If I'm being at all clear, which I'm probably not. What about this board? Maybe, maybe it's been written on using magic chalk. Maybe it's just Blank. erased. But it could have been written on using magic chalk. Could have, I suppose. A stylish blackboard for a mage school. With that head, it almost looks alive. It is oh, alive. Yeah. Really? This little head right yes. here. Yes, and covered in magical chalk. You said it was I blank. Knew it. You lied to me, Master Marcus. Ooh, hello, sheepy. Beneath the bah. head is a sign. It reads, "The sheep." A mage's best friend. It protects us. It keeps us warm. What? Wow. Okay. Sheep are a little like cows. Small, woolly cows. Okay. A carton. A ratty old box containing some strange objects. Most are quite dusty. Hmm. A desk for students. I wonder I guess. how many humans once trained to become mages here. Looks like three. one or two at do, the most. Do. He said three, but I only see space for like two unless this was also a desk. Another pentacle there. We got anatomy of a sheep here. Ooh, and a sheep skeleton. A what is your sheep, fascination with sheep? It's a, it's a lot more than shorn. Sheep are more dangerous than they would have us believe. They're hiding something. That's what Grandad says. Your granddad is a lunatic, Wilbur. 
the sooner you come to grips with that, the more likely you are to live a long, healthy life. Not blown up. And uh, it says mirror, but I think it's a portal. What is that? A mirror? I can only see myself in it faintly. Nothing to say on the subject? The frame is quite heavy and decorated with all sorts of faces and skulls. And the mirror surface, it flows. I've never seen anything like it. Mm-hmm. The frame is quite heavy. I've never seen okay. it. Oh, kitchenette. Some kind of mini kitchen. There's a lot of weird ingredients that could be used for the pot. Right. I think that's more a potion pot than a foodie type pot. Just judging by the general surrounds. Uh, okay, so I guess we go back out here and commence with our quest. Oi, wait! You! You! What's going on over there? That must be the King of Thieves. <laughs> get him, get him. Wow, a super villain. <laughs> I'll get you if it's the last thing I do. It'll be your turn sooner or later. I find myself sympathizing with the rat. What do you have to say now, Mr. Merchant? Do you have any wands? Hello, Mr. Merchant. Ah, you. Why is that rat still alive? I'm working on it. Well, good. What do you want? Um... Can I buy something? I want to buy something from you. What then? I love how you ask what I want to buy instead of just showing me your wares. But, a magical wand. I need a magic wand. Do you have any in stock? Of course, I have the largest range of magic wands you'll find anywhere. Excellent. Okay. But you know, magic wands have to match the mage. So they have to come down to test the wands personally. Yeah, the, Ollivander the told me that. Soon? You? <laughs> That's a good one. Why does everyone I laugh when I say that? I don't have any time for kids messing about. But I need a magic wand to be accepted into the mage school. Please, let me try it. Ah, uh, well, if you must, come here. Here, wave it around in the air a bit. Uh-huh. Nothing. Try this one. It's five and a quarter inch balsa, threaded with a lugworm spinal cord. <laughs> so we are going full Harry Potter here. Mm, this is going to take some time. Apparently so. I've had enough, that's it. There's not one single spark of magic in you, and I'm not having you waste any more of my time. But that was only four magic wands. Wow, why the fade to black? I don't care, I've had enough. I haven't got any more anyway. Well, but that's certainly a and large find selection. A wand somewhere else. And thanks for all your help. Hmm. Thanks for nothing. It's there ah. inside me. I know it. I just have to find the right wand. Well, maybe it's not one of the ones he has, then. Maybe it's elsewhere, Wilbur. So, Mr. Merchant, was that the King of Thieves? Hello, Mr. Merchant. Ah, you. Why is that rat still alive? I'm working on it. Well, good. What do you want? Well... Looks like nothing. I want to buy something from you. What then? Oh, have you got a magical needle and thread? I need a needle and thread suitable for sewing magical treated cloth. Sorry, I don't have any. Nobody does their own sewing anymore. Everything's made abroad for peanuts. Take hmm. my socks. You wouldn't even get the wool for that price here. You just can't pay the seamstresses here anymore. Scandalous. Okay. What about magically treated cloth? I need some magically treated cloth. About a roll. Yep, I've got that here. That's two gold per thigh. Per what? 
A thigh? How much is that? Uh, a good two dwarfs' feet, or one and a half minotaur inches. Three eighths gnome, if you like. I see. And how many thighs to the roll? About one and a quarter sea stone rods. Okay. That's about two and a half fathoms, right? That should do it. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that really, really expensive? And could we use the same unit of measurement for everything, please? That seems pretty expensive to me. The prices have just gone up. You just can't imagine how much demand there is for magically worked cloth when there's a war on. It's a hell of a business. Yeah, I think the demand is me. But anyway... I guess I don't want to buy anything. I don't see anything as, I want to buy. Make oh, I don't later. have any money. Hmm. Uh, goodbye. I have to go. Maybe I'll come by later. If you have to. Alrighty. Don't sound so thrilled. Okay, then. Let's go over here. I'm guessing the King of Thieves is here in the sewer. Somewhere down there in the sewers, the King of Thieves has his realm. Okay. But I'm much too large to fit down there. Yeah, as small as you are, Wilbur, you are still too large. Somewhere down there in the... Okay. But I'm much too large. All right, let's go up here and check this area. Make sure nothing has changed. Let's see, there's the sandwich. A basket. It okay. Looks like stones back there. What do you have to say, Mr. Shieldhand? Hello, Mr. Shieldhand. Hello, Mr. Underhill. What do you want? Well, guess what? I am in mage school. According to Master Marcus, I really do have the potential to become a mage. Marcus is teaching again? Yes, and he wants me to be his pupil. I can imagine that. And what does he want? I just have to bring him a magic wand and a mage's robe. And what else? Well, that and a pile of gold. There you go. He just wants to rip you off. Hey. Believe me, you can't become a mage. Don't throw your money down the drain. You'll see. We'll show you. I'm going to get my mage diploma. Just you wait and see. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> eh. Is that all you have to say? I don't particularly care for Mr. Shieldhand. I'm really happy I don't have any more questions. Okay, thank you, Wilbur, for verifying our finished with this area. Sorry, that was very awkward. My speech centers in my brain must not have kicked in yet. Okay, so we can go outside. Let's go back in here really quickly and just make sure that we haven't missed anything. Okay, oh, we can search. Well, I did miss something, then we can search this carton. Um, Master Marcus, what are all these things in this box? Hmm? Oh, that's just old magic stuff. Help yourself. Will Great. do. Thanks. Thank you. Here's a needle and some thread. Oh, that's what we were needing, wasn't it? And they here aren't are three magic, small but... glass vials filled with coloured potions. Ooh. All tightly corked. Sweet, we've got potions? Hmm. Um, the rest really does seem to be just junk. Okay. So, we've got... Oh, it is a magic needle and thread. The way the thread, thread sparkles and the needle shines, this must be magic sewing gear. So we don't have to buy just that. Just what I need to sew my mage robes. Oh, here's our map we got. That's a map of the area. It can help me travel from one place to another more quickly. Ooh, fast travel. A vial filled with the red potion. I have absolutely no idea what it does. Okay. A blue potion in a little vial. No idea what it does. So I guess we're probably going to have to just experiment with them. A green potion. Can't imagine what that's for. Hmm. Can we ask? I'm supposed to drink a potion whose effects... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. On the other hand, hey, what could happen? Ugh. I was wanting to ask Mr. Master Marcus about it. Oh, mm, that is nothing. lovely, Wilbur. Okay, well, let's see if we can ask him about the rest of them instead of trying to poison ourselves. Master Marcus? Yes? Okay, um... Oh. So, no, we can't. Oh. None of the merchant's magic wands worked. 
I went to the merchant and tried all his magic wands. None of them worked for me. Mm, there could be two reasons for that. Either he didn't have the right wand for you, or... Yeah, that's it. That's the reason. less magic in you than I thought. No, 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 no. Perhaps you didn't want it enough. As you know, you've really got to believe. Oh, I believe. And I can't train you without a wand. I'll find a wand. Yes, of course you will. I really like those glasses you have that don't have nose or earpieces to them. That's awesome. All right. And what is that mirror over there? Is it a portal to the meat dimension? That, uh, that mirror over there, what's its story? Oh, that's a very special mirror. It's a magical mirror. I had guessed that. Um... Yes, can you see your heart's greatest desire? Is it the mirror of Arised? Does it show people their heart's desires? No, no, nothing of the kind. It's... how should I put it? It's a gateway to another oh, world. Oh, it is a portal. Cool. To Wonderland. Not exactly. It's a gateway to the Kingdom of the Dead. Oh. Kingdom of the Dead? Yes, that's what they say. Of course, no one really knows for sure. No living being can walk through the mirror. Only ghosts are capable of that. Oh, no. And there aren't many of those around here. Right. And they come out of it. <laughs> yes, well, as long as I've had that mirror, no one has ever gone in or come out of it. Just like the Wonka Chocolate Factory. Uh, that makes me afraid that we are going to have to become a ghost at some point. What do I need to make myself a mage robe again? You need a length of magical fabric, a magical needle and thread, and you mentioned something about a cutting pattern. Right. Okay. So I've gotten the needle and thread. I know where to get the cloth, so I need to find a pattern. I'll go and get what I need then. If you say so. Cool. Anything else in here? I know I missed that the first time. Ooh, crystal ball. A lovely crystal ball on a small stand. Hmm, it looks completely transparent to me. No fog, no burning eyes, and no visions of the future to be found. Hmm. We can take it. Um, Master Marcus, can you predict the future with the ball? You what? Well, that's just silly hocus pocus. You need tea leaves or tarot cards for that. Oh, well, what's then the, why ball do you have the ball for? It was a promotional gift. Hmm. May I have it? If you like. Thank you. Very kind. Well, we left the stand, and yet we have the stand in our inventory. So, magic. Well, let's go ahead and try these potions. Maybe the second potion will do something. We're still color changing slightly. Strange. Again, nothing. Oh, Ooh. wait. Everything's spinning. <laughs> Was that alcohol, maybe? Featherfall or I something. I hope not. I'm not allowed to drink alcohol yet. <laughs> well, I think you're allowed to do more than you think you are, Ooh. seeing as how we're on this to amazing adventure, Wilbur. You've really come into adulthood here. Well, what about the red one? A vial filled with the red potion. I have absolutely no idea what it does. Okay. Oh. I'm only going to take a sip, though. Just in case it's alcohol again. Right. That looked like more than a sip. Hey, everything's getting bigger. Oh. Finally, a useful potion. I bet I can get into the sewer with that. So anything else in here? Still a painting of a sheep there. Look at the ghost that mirror. That is a ghost mirror. Master Marcus says it's a gateway to another world, but only ghosts can pass through it. Hmm. Weird thing. Isn't it, though? There's the kitchenette. I've already looked at that. The bookcase. I don't remember if we looked at that or not. I think so. Hang on. Oh, I'd give a lot to be able to read these books, but I'm sure only students are allowed to do that. Hmm. So I guess we're technically not a student yet. All right. So I guess that really is everything in here. So let's leave. Bye-bye sheep's heads and skeletons and pictures, oh my.